to the Frontier Festival. Here's the bundle you can get. So they actually have like actual merchandise this year. $14.99. Yeah. That's the shirt you get in the bundle. Or you can buy the shirt by itself for the same price. <laughs> you having fun? Mm -hmm. They brought us lunch. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Really? <laughs> See? Thank How do you like that? It's service, huh? It's the Miranda show. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Need a corner I'm, one? I'm fine. I just ate lunch. Thank okay. You. It's free pizza. On our little bike ride. Yeah. We're at the first location, and it's by, like, those swings. Back by Chick-fil-A is over here. Um, we're not getting anything at this one, but they have the cherry chipotle chili and the cherry and chocolate bread pudding at this location. In addition to the engine house custard, and they have the cherry cola cupcakes with cheesecake frosting and the cherry chocolate ice cream sandwich. They both look super good. Kelsey's going to try this cupcake, and I'm super excited to try it as well. The cherry cola cupcakes, and we got two of them for one ticket, and then it comes with a little syringe of cherry coke that you just, like, infuse them with. There's a hole in the bottom of mine. Oh, okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to like just lose it all. But it's literally just cherry coke in there. I don't really want a cherry. If you want it, you can have it. Oh no! <laughs> what? I have napkin. Oh no, we don't have any. <laughs> just wow. lick it off. I'm trying. <laughs> you got it, I think. I'll just do that. It's good, it's just... This is really sweet, but it's cherry flavored. It's not just regular cream Ooh, cheese. Oh, I'm super excited. And it's just a regular white cupcake, and then, like I said, the syringe of cherry. Try cake. it. That's all it is. <laughs> you get a drink with your cupcake. Yep. I'm gonna take the icing off of mine, but I'll let Faith try hers. So I just squeeze it. Yeah, you just squeeze it in there. Nope, yours come at the bottom too, so I oh, wouldn't. Oh no. I would just save it for a drink or replace it. Is it going? Yeah, it, it went in. It's in there. It's like right here. And all right, like all try it. What do you think? Is it good? That tastes like a cherry coke dessert. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's really messy. We got no napkins. But that's really awesome. And this cherry. Yep, real cherry on top. And you see what I mean by the, it's not just cream cheese icing, it's cream cheese with like cherry flavoring in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But it's a plain cupcake. If you can get it to squeeze into the cupcake, you can make it a mine cherry. Mine did. Old but, one. Like all... but mine just like fell right out. It's really good. Station number three, the Wacker oh, Wheel, and they have cherry cola braised beef pizza and the cherry pie streusel pizza, which is what I'm getting. Cherry streusel, mm -hmm. or is it cherry pie streusel pizza something yeah. rather? But it looks like it's on pizza crust, which is interesting. But this is face, it's not mine. <laughs> More cherries for me. I'm gonna get this part because it looks like a big cherry chunk. racing at 6 30 and then an adult pie eating contest at 7. Oh, my way here is the farmhouse 
Grill, which is their new restaurant. All finished, and there's a bunch of people. We'll have a video where we're gonna try that in maybe a month or so down the line. But yeah, we'll go in and give that a try at some point, but just not today. We're here for the Frontier Festival today. It has like honey sticks and stuff, but there's real live bees here. But they can't get to us, so it's okay. Little shops. What? Sagittarius. Oh, yeah, well, I think it is the different signs on those. I don't know. Faith's just shopping around. I sure am. And a polar bear. Two of them. Oh, or more. Those were all polar bears, too. But that was where we graduated high school, was where the mascot was a polar bear. Yeah. They were for sale, too. And these are amazing. Look at the space ostrich. <laughs> and then the giraffe. But they're all really good, but those are my favorites. Is that your favorites too? Yeah. Right here, this is the one for the sunflower patch that we go to that they actually, I don't, I think Cedar Point gives them the funds yeah. from the festival to this charity. It's like the Maria sunflower patch. So that's all the merchandise for that. Yeah, your drink does look like lemonade, but it's a margarita of some sort. It's good. Do you like it? Yeah. And that's part of the tickets as well. So it's an eight ounce pour of alcohol or like a full beverage of like a non-alcoholic beverage or a food item is one ticket. Yeah. So that was part of our tickets, which was nice. So you don't have to pay extra this year for alcohol. That's pretty good. We have a theme set up along the way as well, but those are tokens. We might have to figure out where we can get some tokens because I have not a clue. Because I don't think those are our tickets because tickets and tokens are not the same, but yeah, those cost tokens, and it says winner every time, so you oh, should win. You can oh, you can purchase tokens. So ten dollars for two tokens, or twenty for five. Ooh, I don't know about that. Here's Station Four, which is actually the new restaurant. You have to go inside to get those. But these are the three items that you can get here. We're not getting any of these, but if you're looking for these, this is where it's at. It's right in front of the mine ride. Um, this is the taco stand where you can get steak fajita tacos, cherry pork tacos, or cold marinated shrimp tacos, but we're not going to get any of that, especially not the shrimp because Faith had a problem at New Year's Eve the one year and she got sick off the shrimp. And apparently pork doesn't like me, even though I like pork, uh, shredded pork, so I'm not going to risk it, but they do sound good. Yeah, the steak sounds okay, but there's other things I want. I like this shirt. It's got all the different posters on it and stuff and like their main rides. That one's $24.99. I like this collection that has like this logo on it too. $24.99. That's not bad for that. Yeah. What about the mug? $12.99. $7.99? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mugs have gone up by like $2 because they were $10 last year, but I think everything else That's is pretty much the same. Everything else the newer shirts that they have. What's Space Spiral? I don't know. I think, oh, that might be the big oh. one that spins. Oh no, these are old rides. Yeah, okay. Cool. cool. They did kind of look retro, so that's kind of cool. So they have all these different magnets and then all these different keychains, and we noticed this one we thought was really, really pretty, and they also have it in a keychain. And it's 3D on this side and then not on the other. Hmm. Frontier Festival pins on a big pin. Oh, there are magnets on, a, on there. I don't understand. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe, Faith. Oh. I get it. Ornaments. Oh, that's cool. $19.99, though, for that one? I don't know. How much are the pins? It doesn't say. I think their pins are normally, like, 8 And this is the one that you get in the bundle, the bandana all spread out. And then they have the Turvis tumblers for $24.99. Those are actually really nice. And those have lifetime warranties wherever you get those.
So this is their band name, and they were actually really good, I thought, so. Yeah, go check them out. Sometimes I wonder, like, how Cedar Point gets these people that are so good, like, they haven't blown up yet, you know what I mean? Yeah, they're about to blow up, I think. Yeah. Bingo, we get to play with m and so after we finish bingo, we get to eat some m and yeah. I feel extremely lucky. I'm gonna win. If I don't eat all my M&M's first, with my one thing, I'm going to win the whole game. Anyone else need to play any cards? Play on. Maybe you two dance partners out there, over there. We have M42. Whilst the frontier town, I do decree that today is Kelsey and Faith Day. Oh, and we got a little something for y'all right here. Yeah. Little badge to show that it is your day, in fact, for you. Thank you. Thank you. Six now has the glazed donut, bacon, cheeseburger, and cherry buffalo chicken tenders. And Faith's gonna get this. She's in line for it. What? No, I'm not getting those. You're getting that. Here's that burger. It's got. Oh, that's bacon and cheese and a burger on basically a glazed donut, I think. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting, but you get a full-size burger. Yeah. Um, Faith had a bit of a conundrum ordering here. Yeah. They just didn't give me a receipt with mine when I handed them my food ticket, and then um, they started serving people that I felt like came after me, so I just asked them about it. They served it. that whole line. Yeah, you, so. so I asked him, and then she was like, oh, she just pulled it off. It had been sitting under the light for some time, but oh, well, at least I got at it. At least you got it. It's all good. Some interest. And we're not, like, starving because we've eaten a lot so far. It's actually still so. really hot, and it feels like it feels like bread, but sticky. Yeah. Oh, are you get any of the donut? Mm-hmm. Well? That's so good. Is it really? Mm-hmm. It looks good, but I don't like burgers. I might give it like a try. It just tastes like a cheeseburger with a little bit of sweetness to it. Should I try it? Mm -hmm. All right. I probably won't like it. Yeah, I could live without it, but I do want some bacon. But you see how the donut's not like too, it doesn't have a lot of icing on it. So it's not like- Oh my God. Did you taste any of the bacon? No. Oh my god, that is like the sweetest bacon I've ever tasted. Oh. It's like candied bacon almost. It tastes That's like. That's probably why it pairs well with the donut. It's like, whoa, hit you in the face sweet. Mm. Yeah, the donut doesn't really taste like too, too sweet. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like, I'd say like half glazed. Because it still feels like a donut with like a little bit of glaze on it. I don't think it's like full on glazed donut, you know, that's like got that clear coating over it. It's all right. I don't really like burgers, but I thought it was okay. Tasting. It tastes kind of like a breakfast sandwich to me. Like a McDonald's beef patty on like a breakfast sandwich because it's sweet. Kind of like a McGrill taste. I feel like it's pretty good. Yeah, that bacon's real sweet. I thought I wouldn't like this, but I'm surprised. Yeah, I figured you would. Yeah. There's what it looks like, and it's pretty well done, too. Mm -hmm. So, this is number seven, the smokehouse. They have the I think whole <laughs> hog sliders um, and they have also the smoked cherry brisket sliders. Station number eight and this is where they um, have the summer cherry fruit salad and the gluten free chocolate flourless cake which is what Kelsey's getting and this is called the roundup. This one is the summer cherry fruit salad. It's I think there's dried cherries or maybe they're raisins I don't know just a bunch of fruit which is fine by me because that sounds really good right now. And this is a flourless gluten-free chocolate cake. That looks so good though. It looks good. I don't think I've eaten a lot of things at all that are gluten-free, so. This is just fruit. So I'm not gonna try that on camera. It's literally just fruit. There's pineapple, watermelon, grapes, raisins. Try the dried things, because they're probably cherries. You want me to try that? Yeah, <laughs> try it. I was gonna not eat those. <laughs> you just bit into it. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. All right. Let's try this chocolate cake. Oh, 
Okay, it like falls apart. It's almost like a mousse. It's good though. Does it I taste think... flourless? Yeah, as in the point that it's not fluffy. Mm. Like a cake, it's more like a mousse, like I said. Mm. But it's more like a dark chocolate. Mm. Like in between dark and milk chocolate, I would say. But it's pretty good. I would get both of these. Yeah, they look good. Mm -hmm. Tournament. 4.45. Cornhole tournament that's going to be started here pretty soon. We're uh, near the Maverick and at 4.45 we're going to be starting to play cornhole. nachos or chicken nachos and Kelsey's gonna get the ones with beef. Side, because I didn't know if I'd like it. Kind of smells like tacos. Yeah, I tried these last time and I thought they were pretty good. Yeah, that tastes like taco meat, but it's like not ground. It's like shredded. Shredded. Yeah. I remember these being good last year. Go ahead. It's just nacho cheese and sour cream. But it's good. I'm going to try it together. Okay. I'm going to be a little adventurous. I don't normally do this. <laughs> Faith can attest to that. I yeah, don't she does. do that. I thought that's all you were going to put no, on it. No, it just fell off. <laughs> that's good. It's like a taco. Now you know you like it together. Yay. You want to try it? Yeah. Some, but here it is up close. Their nacho cheese sauce here is really, really good, and this beef is pretty good. I've been putting them together because I'm adventurous today. But so far, so good. Try try it with this. This I'm a little nervous about for me, so I'll see how I feel after I try one. to rip off as you can tell here like this piece of well it did it did come off but it was very hard to tear We're at the last station which is miss keats they have all the kids stuff and then the wing this is the chicken chunks that's what i got because they looked good and faith's gonna get the corn dogs but they are not done yet we have to wait 10 minutes for those they look like really crispy too Chicken nuggets or popcorn chicken. So you can walk 
through the tunnel that used to be the old car ride because that's where they built the new restaurant at. So like the cars that you would ride in used to come through this way, but now they made it into a walkway. Those are the mini corn dogs. And, and you, you know what? What? After that whole travel to get your mustard, I kind of want to catch up now. <laughs> oh, I was going to offer you mustard. I might have some mustard. Here, you can use some of mine. That's a smart idea, especially if you get the big tasting card. We just put like our leftovers in the container and separate it with like a napkin or like whatever they give you like around these things. Sometimes they put this paper in them and that way it's separated. But we always bring our own containers. That way we don't waste any of our money. Or any of our food we can just reheat it later or if it doesn't need heat it just eat it later so that's a pro tip from Kelsey and Faith yeah. mm. are they good mm -hmm. hey. let me see it the outside is really crispy but I kind of yeah. like that I don't like it when the bread's mushy yeah and like the hot dogs well done and it's steaming like they said to come back in 10 minutes well they're fresh hey. <laughs> Well, they're fresh. Those are really good. Can I try one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those are really good. Yeah, you can tell they're fresh. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to point out that these corn dogs and those chicken tongues that I got were part of like the kids' menu. Mm -hmm. I don't even freaking care. <laughs> I'm gonna eat what I want to eat. I'm a kid. I eat like a kid, and I don't care. I like and them they don't too. Care either because they will let you buy it. Right. And it was well worth my ticket. Well, technically, it says also available on that sign, not kids menu, but it does like it is from the you kids say menu. That online. Yeah. <laughs> like kids menu, corn dogs, chicken. They call them chicken chunks. Yeah. And French fries and mac and cheese. French fries and mac and cheese we've had at Sierra Point before. We know what they taste like. They're fine. Yeah. But. Those chicken chunks, man, they need to bring those back all over the place. I would buy those every single time I came in. Yeah, I would too. And those corn dogs are pretty good too. Yeah, these are good. So, I feel like, you like that one really cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm full too. driving an iron dragon and then faith is putting them on her bag so when she's done i'll just show you oh so these are all my new pins except this one i've had and i took it off my lanyard and i was gonna take off my other one gatekeeper and put it on here but it made this uneven so i'll wait until i get more pins but i'm putting all the ones i've ridden on here and trying to collect until i hit every ride which i might need another bag for all the bags at some point I'll put them up here. I think that's cool. Here's my bag. <laughs> so I put all mine on there. Aww. It looks like a new store or a new something is coming soon. It's not open yet, but it's called Peanuts at the Point. I guess we'll find out later this season, maybe. <laughs> I didn't want to get dizzy after eating all that. Okay. Bye. So they made that so that if you bring cash, you can put it on a card and use that around Cedar Point. And you can use those cards outside of Cedar Point as well. So from the festival today, um, I probably really liked the most like the activities. I think that bingo game we played was really fun. Yeah. And then how he announced us as our channel. It was our special day. Yeah. Um, um, I liked the chicken, of course. Chicken is my favorite food. It probably always will be. 
so I really liked that. Um, I liked that they had those options. Like, I know that they were for kids, but, like, for picky eaters like me, that's, like, a good thing to have. So. I think that that's your food. Oh, that's hard. I really like that uh, donut burger, actually. Yeah. Um, and I, also I thought that was okay, actually. I tried it. Yeah. I don't normally like burgers, but it was all right. I really like the cherry pizza. Tasty. Yeah. But I also like that cupcake. I don't know. I like all yeah. of it. It was all good. I think the only things that may be not worth it was the cake that was gluten free, and then it was one thing that you had. Oh, the corn dogs. I felt like they were. Oh good, yeah. But they could have gone like and given me like one or two more. I feel yeah. like they did kid sizes for them. Right, but they again, they were four kids. Chicken, yeah. So. Yeah, they gave me a lot of chicken. I was like, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, I would recommend coming out and you know seeing the festival. Um, it runs through I think late June. So, um, yeah, and it's free with park admission, but you have to buy the lanyard separately. So our lanyard for 10 tastings cost us $60. So that's about $6 an item. So keep that in mind when you're like picking your stuff. So you get your money's worth in the yeah, end. You do because you get full. And if you're splitting a pass between two people to do the 60, if you like don't eat too much, but you eat with them, it's an important So like, I feel like, Sorry, the roller coaster went by. That's why there was a deathly scream. <laughs> I feel like it was good enough for two people as well. But oh, if yeah. If you like to eat a little more, then maybe do it. But I feel like if yeah. you did it by yourself, you'd honestly have to split it between two days. Yeah, like you could get the six tasting pass maybe for one person. But then again, like you might have to come back like another day just to use the one or two more. Yeah, because we did five tastings each. And like we were able to get drinks and food for that. And I feel like I'm full cool and it was worth it. Yeah. Thanks for watching today's video. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.